We have news this evening of a groundbreaking new procedure to help burn victims. Yes, and Tiffany Tarpley tells us thanks to game-changing technology, a Cleveland woman is on the road to a much smoother recovery. For Sarah Sloan, your adrenaline starts going. It was a moment of near panic. I did everything I could. I just went to the hospital. But Sarah knew she needed help. My main concern was with how my skin's going to look the rest of my life. Something as simple as cooking. I knocked a can of cooking spray into the burner, which exploded, and um, it was just like a big gulf of flame. Scarred 67% of her body with deep second and third degree burns. Her arm today looks and feels much differently than it did back in December of 2018. This was a game changer for her. Director of Metro Health Medical Center's Burn Center, Dr. Anjay Kendalwal, says a recently FDA approved treatment called Recell, basically spray on skin, is providing faster healing and less pain, as well as a better look and function compared to patients who didn't have the procedure like this one. Here's how it works. Doctors take skin from the patient, the size of a credit card, thinner than a sheet of paper. It goes through a process in the operating room, essentially turning it into a spray. It really helps us in ways that we, we didn't have help before. This is an injury unlike any other um, that really affects patients you know, profoundly and significantly. Today, 27-year-old Sarah is pain-free with full range of motion after being the first person in Cleveland to use spray on skin. It's going to help a lot more people. And it sure has. About a dozen patients have used this technology at Metro. The doctor says it's not a complete coverage, meaning you can't take someone who has a third-degree burn and just spray on the skin. It's believed Metro is one of two burn centers using this aggressively in the state. And I am told the technology continues to evolve. So fascinating how that works. And glad she's doing well. Thanks, yeah, Tiffany. Definitely.